clapping your elbows together. You're doing this right here. Right, watch, watch the video, watch the video. up and welcome back everybody I'm out here in the garage because I gotta get the s10 out of the trailer and if you guys can see here I got the 1500 hooked up to the trailer and I tell you what that truck really hates its life right now because it is on bump stops the trailer is so heavy fully loaded that uh, it just hates its life. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get the S10 out of the trailer. Um, Mason, like I said on the last video, we did a bar change at the track and um, it went towards the wall because we adjusted the, the bars without me in the truck. Well, before we went to over to the show last weekend, um, Mason come over here and we did a bar change uh, again and uh, I thought we had it right but the truck is leaning um, a little more on the driver's side it's lower on the driver's side than the passenger side so yeah we're I'm gonna pull it back out I'm gonna loosen everything up and then I'm gonna have a buddy come over and uh, help me come and adjust these bars he's about my size I'm gonna have to put a some weight in his lap to equal me because he's a little bit smaller than me not much but he's a little bit smaller than me so i'm gonna put him in the seat i'm gonna adjust him myself and hopefully we can get that uh that lean out i don't know what essentially is causing that you know because whether i guess i don't know if we went the right direction on the driver's side as the passenger side but the passenger side did get lifted and the driver's side didn't we're putting more preload into the bar so you think the more we're clamping those bars the higher the truck will sit because you can kind of adjust the ride height that way and it's not so I don't know and also I had the truck in park so I don't know if like when I jacked it up loosened everything and set it back down in park if the truck didn't you know balance out correctly or not um, so it's like one of those things I don't know what's going on um, I'm gonna figure it out though I got the day off today um, and we are going to figure it out today as we are racing Friday night at that invite only small tire shootout. So I'm gonna get this thing out of the trailer and we will start adjusting the bars. So what really is my concern is looking at the truck, you know, we can get like two fingers in the wheel well above the tire on the passenger side. And as you guys can see, looking at the truck from the back, it's really leaning towards the driver's side. And if you come over here to the driver's side, it's like up in there. Like I can't even get my finger in there. So I'm, I'm not sure if... We did the right bar adjustment or not, or me being in park, jacking it up, 
setting it back down on the ground didn't let it roll around a little bit or whatnot but we are going to figure out what is the issue and hopefully we can get the truck to sit a little bit more level we would like this side to be a little bit higher like the passenger side so that it, that would be ideal but we will figure out what we have to do or what we did wrong and go from there what i've thinking i'm finding out here i'm gonna turn you guys sideways here is i'm underneath the passenger side and we're putting preload into the cow tracks so essentially is we're taking this silver bar and we're putting it pressure more pressure into the leaf spring and i can take this silver thing and it does not move and of course this bar i can move it but it's really 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 tight i believe that is the case because there is a lot of preload into this we have four flats of preload into this truck on this side i believe this side is correct now we're gonna run over to the driver's side which i'm not saying it's wrong as of course i'm not sitting in the truck of course so there's a little unbound weight right here but if we crawl underneath on this side i can take this silver tap and i can wiggle it i can spin it so i don't and then this bar is like loose so i'm thinking that when we did the bar adjustment we went soft on this side so essentially instead of putting preload in it we took preload out i can't confirm because of course i'm not in the truck but uh yeah that's what i'm thinking happened so yeah i'm gonna wait for my buddy to get here and uh, we'll figure it out. It's hot, humid out, and it just started, started downpouring randomly, flooding everything out. It was really coming down. So my buddy Luke can come over. We uh, adjusted the rear uh, bars again, um, did a bar change on those. Um, come to find out that they were probably correct, and we only had four flats of preload into them. I went all the way to six to see if it changed anything and it did a little. So as you guys can see here, I can get like two fingers in there. My hands are dirty because I'm working on a truck of course. And before I couldn't get a finger in there, but now I can get a whole finger in there. I can't get two, but yeah, that's how that changed. Also, I come over here and I put about a half it, well, I probably put an inch higher on this front shock up here. I adjusted it an inch higher. Um, a buddy of mine, he has Billy the Battle Axe, a really, really, really fast uh, S10. He kind of, you know, before his truck evolved to what it was now, he was, you know, on call tracks and monoliefs too. And he said that on his truck, he had to put more preload into this front shock than the other side just to make it kind of sit even back here because he is similar having issues like me so that's what i ended up doing i think i'm just gonna chop it up to this is going to be the best that the truck is ever going to be um yeah kind of sucks it makes me really think that uh the frame definitely is bent um you know this thing will launch and they call it the g-body shuffle a lot of people don't know that s10s are g-bodies essentially um i actually have g-body dirt track front control arms on this thing so it's pretty much a g-body on a truck with a truck chassis well truck body and uh this thing will do the g-body shuffle i'll lift the driver tire up and i'll carry it to about 100 foot with it just barely off the ground and front tire won't even spin at times and uh, I think we're just gonna chop it up as the frame being bent. Um, it does have a ca cage in it, but I have nothing coming out of the back of the truck to the back. I have no up bars, no mid bars, nothing. And I don't have an anti-roll bar. So I think just over the years, nonstop abuse on this thing, this thing is just twisted a little bit. So what we did 
what I did and Luke can help me do. Um, this is the best it's going to be. I'm going to load this thing back up into the trailer. And next time you guys see us, we will be at Marion at Rally in the Valley for the 16 car small tire invite only race. So hope you guys stay tuned because we are going to go rounds. And I mean, mean it this time. Um, we did a lot of things to the truck over the last couple weeks. This thing's going to have even more power than what we have. Um, it's either going to bend the crank, break the crank, or she's going to make some really good passes. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned because you never know what's going to happen. Maybe this thing might just fucking shit its guts out. We don't know. We're going to turn it up and we're going to find out. All right. Hope you guys enjoy what's coming because we will be racing. Well, unfortunately, we got rained out at the track last night. So, we're here at Subaru. Yeah, we're at Cars and Coffee this morning. We were supposed to go racing yesterday. Um, we kind of were on standby all day at work. I was watching my phone, raining pretty much all day long. They called the race at 5.30, then the sun come out, dried up everything, and it was a beautiful night all night long. But instead of going racing, we went uh, bowling instead. So it's kind of a bummer that we didn't go make passes last night at the track, but uh, it is what it is. We're at Carson Coffee today, and we're gonna enjoy your time. We got some merch set up. We're gonna walk around, see some sweet cars. I did see some three GT40s, Fords, so those are gonna be pretty sweet to see. But yeah. So it's gonna start here in a couple minutes and we'll take you around. Sweet. Good turnout already.
you got a little squirrel in that one.
that wraps it up for Cars and Coffee. We're gonna get out of here. Our next event is Tea Fest in Tea, South Dakota next weekend. It's a pretty good event. I think they said 750 cars that they counted out here. This whole parking lot was full. They had free food, free donuts, free coffee. They gave away some stuff. Fortunately, we didn't win, but oh well, we'll be all right. Next time, there's still people out there trying to watch cars go crazy. I got some footage of that, so we'll be playing that now. Logan's talking to some friends, and we're gonna load up, get out of here.